If uh, this is your first time watching the Suspended Base episode, I highly recommend you watch it from the beginning. We've had some crazy, crazy adventures. Oh no. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is Scrapman bringing you another episode of Scrap Mechanic, and we are back in the suspended mountain base yet again. And today we're going to be looking at some more of your creations and figuring out what else we're going to add to the base. I'm thinking I'm going to be looking at some of the more of the recreational stuff because the way that this space has been going is this first floor seems to be kind of like the recreational room, which means I might change something. But uh, we got we got the living room here, we got the bar over here. Um, of course, we have a bathroom and stuff, and I don't know if I actually want the recording studio on this floor anymore, now that I'm thinking about this more of like a recreation area, because with the bar here and the living room here, it's kind of a place for people to hang out, have fun, and the recording studio is not where you want some, uh, to be recording next to people in a bar and hanging out in a living room. So the recording studio, I think, should probably have its own uh, more private area, so we may move that. How we're gonna do that uh, is gonna be is yet to be seen. Uh, I don't want to just I don't want to like I want to be able to detach it without destroying anything else in the base. But what we did last time, in case you guys weren't here, check out that episode for sure. Was uh, in this bar area we added to the emergency room this um, semi-functional uh, escape pod, so that uh, if we need to escape in an emergency, that we could just go ahead and get on down to the ground here. And uh, whoop. And there we go, and we hop out just like that. But uh, uh oh, it's doing its thing again. As you can see, it was it, it it was less than optimal. Adding all these pistons on top of each other with a heavy metal uh, escape pod was not the best choice. So there's definitely going to need to be some adjustments with this thing. I'm just uh, not too sure what I'm going to do yet. I might actually have to just go to the mods and use a mod use the modded pistons. Um, it might just, it, it'll just probably make things easier. So I think I might actually do that. Uh, but for this episode, I really want to focus on every episode. I want to at least show off a handful of the new creations that have been submitted or anything that I haven't seen yet. Um, and then get into, uh, actually implementing some of them into the base. So I think I'm going to be focusing on like game rooms or things that people can do for fun in the base. And I got to put a chair here to get up into here. Uh, so let's actually get out of here. We're gonna go down to the ground again, but not through the drop pod. Whee! I've, I've slightly previewed some of your builds in the workshop by looking at the pictures and stuff, um, and some of them just seem absolutely insane. So let's see what we come across. Here's actually what I looked at. This is by the Gamer X. It's a cool set of stairs that pops out of the wall and floor. And it actually kind of blew my mind a little bit. Uh, I think it's it's cheating a little bit using... Um, I'm, I'm hesitant to put this in the base because it's using a piston um, feature that is not going to be here forever, according to the devs. And that is the fact that the pistons have no collisions. But for now, it looks super cool and I want to use it, but I'm afraid that the up future updates are going to break it. So check this out. Is that crazy or what? They literally intersect with each other. Look at that. Actually, now that I think about this, I think it's possible to make this without using this piston glitch of the uh, the zero collisions. Because right now, the pistons are at the edge of each set of stairs uh, on the bottom and the top. But if you move, say, these ones that are coming out horizontally, if you just move these pistons into the middle, like this, instead of on the edges, they will no longer be intersecting with those uh, vertical pistons. So you might be able to do this without uh, and making it update proof. So you can actually use it when they uh, fix the collisions of the pistons. So keep that in mind if you want to update this. Um, it should update automatically in the workshop. Um, so I should be able to use it. But yeah, check that out. It looks amazing. It's one of those really visual things. So I really, really like that. So good job on that one. Let's take a look at uh, what else do we got in the workshop here from you awesome scrappers. So here's a cool one that I'm definitely going to want to add, maybe even a couple of these. This is a Scrapman watchtower. Um, oh, we got a seat to get up here, so we could probably put some stairs to get up here, uh, depending on how the rest of the base goes. But having some watchtowers would be pretty cool. Oh, cool! I actually didn't know that I did this either. So we have like a, a watchtower with an emergency panic button as well. And it has a cool little glass, steampunky, pipey um, area underneath it, which is looks really cool and adds to the theme. So that was made by Corgi, so thanks a lot for that submission. 
Uh, something I'm definitely going to want to keep in mind for when we start adding out to the perimeters and having these watchtowers out there. All right, so here we have a garage for Scrap Man. So this is actually a garage that we might be able to use. We're going to see if it fits my car. Um, and if it does, maybe we'll put it up by where the other pseudo garage is. So this is made by a pack maniac. He's actually a Patreon supporter as well. He says, thank you, Scrap Man, for inspiring me to make YouTube videos. Subscribe to Scrap Man and I and join his Discord. So check out his YouTube channel if, uh, if you can find it. Pack maniac. All right, so here we go. Let's go ahead and press the button here. Oh, we got two separate garage doors that open separately. That's kind of cool. And it looks like this is like a work uh, station side over here. Oh, it actually looks like it might actually go up. Let me see. Ooh, look at that. That's pretty cool. And a lot of boxes in the middle. We got some sharks on the wall. Oh, I never even thought about painting the sharks. That's pretty cool. We have a pink shark. Look at that. The pink shark. <laughs> Lots of warning signs. Oh, we have moving warning signs. That sign did just move, right? Oh, it's not even... Wait. They seem to be... Did that one just move? I'm seeing weird stuff. Why is there a shark on the table over here? <laughs> Garages are not for gutting sharks. We have a window um, against a, a covered wall. That's an interesting choice. Some big pipes... That's a, that's interesting. It almost looks like it's going to be like an electrical like coil type thing. And of course, our work rack here with some tires and stuff. All right, so the moment of truth, is it going to fit the mad scrap car? I've got them all over the place, apparently. Hit. <laughs> all right, let's see here. All right, moment of truth. Oh, this looks like it's going to be tight. This looks like it's going to be tight. Uh-oh. Oh, no, it doesn't fit. Pac Maniac, it doesn't fit. You know what? That wouldn't be too hard of a uh, of an adjustment to make. Tell you what, um, download the Mad Scrap Car from the workshop. It should be it should be in there. Pretty sure it's just called Mad Scrap or something like that. And um, see if you can just widen the walls a little bit on each side. Or I'll give you some some advice here. Just literally cut like right here on either side, like all the way through. And then just extend each doorway out a little bit on both sides. And then you can take this, after you've separated this entire wall, you can just weld it back after you've extended it. So yeah, if it can fit these cars, that'd be ideal. Because this is uh, this is pretty much like the standard car that I use now to get around. And then if you do that, I'll put it up there by that bridge. So that way we can take these cars up the piston elevators. We can take it up and over to our garage over there. And then we can walk across the bridge to the suspended base. But uh, yeah, so it should, shouldn't, be, shouldn't be too much of an adjustment to make. Everything else, you don't have to delete or anything. You can just expand the walls a little bit. But yeah, other than that, looks really good. Looks very garagey for sure. And I look forward to using it in the future of the base. All right, here's something made by Kirby. It's an observatory made for Scrapman's steampunk base with a decorated interior and a lab slash garage. The observatory controls roof, door, tilt telescope, extend telescope, first person view. So this would be something cool to add to the very, very top of the base. All right, it's not too laggy even without being welded. Ooh, what's this? We got a little like, almost like a garage over here. Then we have two door, two buttons. That's a fast door. That is really, why do both of these buttons do the same door? <laughs> um, all right, look at this. What is this, is this jukebox? All right, interesting choice of music, for sure. Uh, looks like I have a chess or a checker chess table, chess chess board over here, and a seat. Oh, all kinds of buttons in this seat. What is what is that? That button's not connected. Okay. Oh, well, it's the keyboard. That's why. It's a bunch of keys for the key. Oh, and that's the mouse. Oh, I see. And the mouse has a cord. I just realized. And we have the um. I guess it's supposed to be like a curved screen, but uh, you know, you know how scrap mechanic is with curves, right? All right, what's this? We have a little storage section underneath the stairs here. I'm assuming both of these close the door as well. Yep. And is this a mini aquarium? All right. Uh, and I guess we gotta go upstairs next to the observatory. Let's go ahead and go up here. Caution, automated facilities. Ooh, what is it? We had cucumbers on the wall. Oh, and a security camera up there as well. Wait, why can't I go up all of a sudden? Up oh, there we go. Ooh, look at this. Oh, 
Oh, this looks cool. All right, so there's all kinds of, oh, there's like a bunch of different chairs here. Do they all do different things or do they all do the same thing? Well, let's go, um, it looks like this is the main control chair. So let's see what this thing does. Button number one. Okay, but, oh no, there's a chair inside the telescope too. So what is this? All right, what does this do then? I don't... <laughs> Why? All of these switches go to that logic gate, which goes to that. Why do all three seats have multiple buttons to control a single tote bot head? Tote bot head. That is just... A... Okay, uh, let's go in here. Okay, let's go in here. All right. Um, button number one. Oh, that's cool. Check that out. That's a pretty cool opening and closing of the door there. All right, button number two. Oh, closes the back door. Button number three. Oh, oh, we're angling in. We get like, we get to ride the telescope. Whoa! The telescope actually telescopes. It's telescopic. It, get it? Um... All right, and whoa, it sends us up into it too. All right, we have to do that in first person. Let's go back, go up, back up, all right. Okay, so ready for this? Ready for this? We're facing up, then we go this, we tilt forward. And the front telescope's out. Oh, look at that, and then we telescope out. Oh, that is so cool. And we actually have a really wide view all around because of the glass, and it puts us right into this little glass area. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. All right, we'll definitely have to put this at the top of the base somewhere. Okay, so uh, let's actually get towards figuring out what we're gonna add this time. I'm gonna go to the game room. Um, whoop, and we hopped out of the top of the telescope. That works. Uh, I'm gonna look at that game room that we had before, and we're gonna add the game room um, up next to the living room. So we'll have like the bar, living room, like lounge area, and then we'll have a game room. All right, so here's the game room, and I think I think there's been some adjustments made because the last time I remember the lights were way overpowering and the sharks were not on the wall. So I think this actually has been updated. So that's pretty cool. Is there anything new in here that I didn't see though? We have the, um, this looks like it has different colors too now. Oh, it does. Wow, this actually has had a lot of updates since we last looked at it. What does this do? Oh, that does the, uh, the shark. And this? Are right, those are the lights? All right, it looks like, oh, this has a winning sound now. That didn't have a winning sound before. Eh, eh, come on, get. And that, uh oh, we broke it. Nope, oh, no, we didn't. Um, well, we kind of did. I think, I think we kind of broke it. Oh, no, it's fixed now. All right, it looks like there has been actually a lot of updates to this. Whoa! What is that? Oh, is that the reset? That's clever too. So check this out. Because when you stop it, there, there's no chance you're going to stop it when it's like just completely flat. So you do that and then you can reset the game. Let's see if any of the other games are different. I remember this one was the Mario game. So we have to try to hit Mario with the... Oh! It has more interactive parts now too. That's cool. It lets you know if you actually won. Because see, it doesn't... It doesn't make the noise, or that thing doesn't pop up unless you actually hit the block. Uh, there we go, that's pretty cool. And what about this one? Alright, it seems like this one is pretty much the same. And then, of course, we got the, uh... The, 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 the rock stock of robots, and he, this is why he, so he added a glass roof and some windows over here on the sides as well, and I think that's to add some extra visibility, especially for this game here. So we have our punching, punch, punch, punch. We got this button. Oh, now we have actually individual buttons per arm. Before we didn't have that. Wait, why does it seem like, oh, there we go. Wow, okay. Oh, interesting. So we can actually use the gas now to go forward and back. I don't think that's the way it worked last time, is if I remember correctly. Come on, come on, up oh, there we go. Yeah, I gotcha, I got, Gotcha. Got it. Get it. Get, get. There we go. 
All right, so there's a lot of improvements to this. I'm glad that I waited before putting this thing in because it is so much better. Wait, how do we turn this thing on? There we go. It is so much more improved than uh, the last time I saw it. So let's uh, let's go ahead and add this in next to the living room. We'll see if it fits. All right, so here it is. The living room's over here. You know, I'm actually getting a little bit worried that I, I don't know how much more we have left of frames to add things to this base, but we're gonna find out as we go along, I guess. So here's uh, one length, two lengths plus two blocks. So let's see what we have next to this thing right here. We have one length, two lengths plus two blocks. Yeah, we can fit it next to here, no problem. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here's the moment of truth. Is this going to fit? Is this going to work well? We're gonna try to weld it. Why isn't it letting us weld it? Oh, I think that's why. All right, so we're gonna have to add an extra block right here in order to do this, because that window sticks out just a little bit and interferes with the living room. So this should solve that. Yes, it does. All right, and weld, weld, please weld. Oh no. What happened to the door? Why is that part of the door broken? What have we done? Why doesn't the door work? You know what? I can just, uh, wait. So that is attached to that logic gate. So that's good. That, that's an easy fix. All we have to do is, um, that. And then we should just be able to put it back. Why does it want to go down? All right, you know, there we go. Now that I put it on there, I should be able to put it back like this. All right, that should fix it. Okay, all right, I think it's fixed. And then we have our game room. So I'm thinking I might actually be able to make a pathway to the game room from the bar maybe right in the back right here is this a good is this a good area let's see what happens if we do this oh look at that look at that that's pretty cool it's like perfect yeah so we got our living room right here and uh, a little tiny entrance into the game room if we want to play something over here and what's even actually cooler is oh wait a minute oh no that's unfortunate. Uh, I just realized that I guess when you are welded to the ground in a creation like this, um, you can't you can't ghost your camera through the walls, so we can't actually look through the glass, unfortunately. Oh well. Well, we have a game room now, so that's good. Check that out. So we got our living room right there, and I should probably add just a little bit of this, so it doesn't look like you're gonna fall through the gaps there. And maybe we should add a little bit of decoration here to highlight this door. All right, there we go. Now we have our little game room over here with multiple access points. And you know what I think I can add over here? There was another game room I saw um, that is completely different than this. It's more of like a, a pool table loungy area. Let me show you what I mean. So this is made by Corgi, which I think we actually looked at something else by Corgi as well. Um, let's see, where's the door? Gotta find the door. All right, the door's on this side. So check this out. So we got our door right here. It's a little bit laggy because it's on the base right now. Oh, what is going on over there? Actually, I think I missed that button when I was looking at it off camera. But check this out. So we got um, actually a bunch of buttons I forgot to look at. Well, we'll start with this. We have a painting on the wall here, but not only is it just a painting. Wait, where's the lights? Are there lights? That's the lights, there we go. Not only is it a painting, but it is also an optional shark. Just in case you want that ominous music in the background of your pool session. Get our pool table right here, but let's say you don't want to play pool. What if you want to play air hockey? We have an air hockey table as well. So that's a cool little switch. And what's this? We have a TV or a wall. <laughs> and then we have our control center right there. So yeah, it's a nice little cat. Oh, and what's this? What? What? Oh! I did forget to look at that one before. Oh, and that one does use the glitch, though. But that is a much more easier-to-work-around glitch, I think. 
Because all we have to do for this, I guess technically if we just delete that block right there and we just leave a hole there, then... Yeah, now we've just solved that problem. There's just a little bit of a hole there, but you know what? It's negligible. It's not that noticeable. Look, I mean, you don't notice that hole, do you? So you don't notice it. You don't notice it. You don't notice it. Quiet in the comments. All right, so this is how big? Let's find out. We have one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have two lengths plus eight. How big is this? One, two, <gasps> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Are you kidding me? What are the chances of that? So what I should be able to do is using that block right there, I should be able to weld it right there and it should go exactly over to that area. All right, so I think this is the right one. I think that's the right corner to grab. Let me do that. Weld. Look at that. It is absolutely perfect. Let me just open this door here. Actually, I'm going to reverse that. Oh, wait, no, I don't have to do that. I just have to do this. There we go. Made things a little bit more complicated than it had to be. So, yeah, now the door opens in. And this is our game room number two. So, there we go. Awesome. So now we need to figure out, we have a bathroom right here, so people can use the bathroom. And I want to move, I want to move the recording studio um, to have its own dedicated, uh, its own floor. I think the recording studio, the master bedroom, and some of the guest bedrooms, those are, those are going to, they're going to want to be on their own floor, like a quiet floor. Um, this is going to be like the louder floor. It has like this open floor plan as well with the fountain in the middle. Um, I think we're going to have a one more floor go up here. So I expanded this a little bit. I'm gonna add a second that I think I'm gonna add that um that musical staircase that we looked at a few episodes ago. We're gonna have the musical staircase continue to go up here, and then we're gonna wrap around and kind of like a U around to the sides over here and do something fancy and probably be a little bit less square with our base for sure. But one thing I wanna do really quickly is I asked for windows because we don't have many windows, and somebody actually May, Mr. Mind Slime 2000 made a whole uh, assortment of windows. Look at this. Uh, we need a better spot to put this. Let's put this up over uh, over here. So this is actually a really clever idea. Since I was asking for small little aesthetic things, he actually made a single selection of multiple objects. So all I have to do is delete these red beams and I can choose whichever window I want. Ooh, let's put this down. Some of them are functional. We have a little fan window here. That's pretty cool. Uh, what about this? Huh. Wait, am I on the wrong side of this? What? No, the, well, the switch was on that side. Okay, so that is the, that is the back. All right, and we have all different sizes as well. That's super awesome. And what does this one do? Oh, those are like curtains. That's cool. So some of these little windows can fit uh, over on this thing. Is this only one block? That, yep. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, put a window. Wait, let me make sure that we're not gonna interfere with anything on the walls here. All right, so we have a too thick wall though, so that's actually a little bit, uh, gonna make things a little bit more interesting. So how big is this? One, two, three, four, five. All right, five by five. There we go. There we go. And I'm gonna use each of these windows in these areas. So we got this window right there. It's a cool little steampunky window. And we got this window. I'll put that right there. Just like that. Let's see how it looks from the inside. Looks pretty cool if you ask me. All right, we got some windows now. You know what? Just for the sake of this door, I'm not gonna... I might put... Yeah, let's just put some glass right there. There we go. That way we can see in. Or maybe we should even make it... Yeah, there we go. I think that... I think that adds a little bit more of like an openness to it. It's less of an enclosed room, more of like a publicly inviting room. You know what I mean? Cool, and yeah, we got we got a little area here now that I think this, this is starting to look a little bit better. Um, I think these windows need a little bit more standing out. So I think, whoops, whoops, wrong color. I think doing that will help with that window, and same thing with this. I think that helps out just a little bit. All right, we're gonna have to figure out where we can put these huge windows though, because those are definitely unique and require a lot of space. So I'm gonna have to plan for that if I want to use them for sure. 
And this thing is actually more of like a decoration than a window, it looks like. I wonder where I might be able to put that. This one actually looks like I could it could fit pretty well on this kind of living room area. I think right there might be an okay spot. There we go. Let me do a quick search to see if we have any other windows. Oh, we have this. Oh, that can that can go down on the bottom floor. We've got this cool window with the SM logo on it. Oh, this is a nice window. Oh, let, let me let me uh, let me sh shout out you guys for these. So we have original center, weld to a wall, and watch the magic unfold. Let's wait. Let's see what what is the magic? What kind of magic is he talking? Oh, we have a switch here. That's cool. I get it. Watch the magic unfold. It literally, the window folds out. That is a cool looking window. Yeah, this is definitely good. Oh, we have a sink next to it. We're going to use that for a bedroom, for sure. This one looks, this is by UFO15. So this is actually a really cool, oh, I'm on the wrong side. This is actually a really cool window. It has like a gear kind of uh, outcrop to it. So we got this. All right, we got some pipes doing some steamy stuff. And we got, whoa, what is that? No way. What's gonna happen? No way. That's pretty cool. Is that supposed to go... Oh, I almost deleted something. Is that supposed to go all the way in, though? I have a feeling that... Yeah, I have a feeling it's trying to go in the hole, but it's not doing it for some reason. Scrap mechanic is detecting, like, some type of collision happening. But that is super cool. I like the way that works a lot. I just wish that it was actually going in. It looks like it should go in. <laughs> well then, uh, let's put let's put this let's put this away for now. <laughs> but I like that concept a lot. Uh, maybe if I weld it to a wall, it might be more reliable. We're gonna have to find out uh, when we find a spot to put that. The color choice is interesting though, so we'll have to figure out what we're gonna do about the color choice. So let's get rid of this for now. We'll use some of those windows again later. We have this one made by Corgi again. Corgi's been making a lot of stuff for the base. Uh, we got this one. Ooh. This one looks like it. Oh, this one looks like it does all kinds of stuff. This is made by Doe Gaming IL. Let's see what it does. We got sensors. Oh, that's cool. It automatically opens when you go up to the window, and I think it opens each side individually. So if I go to this side, it opens up the window over here, and if I go to this side, it opens up the window over here, and if I'm standing in the middle, it opens up both sides. All right, what about the switches? Oh, and then we can do it manually if we want. So now what happens if we hit the sensors? Nice, he's got some good use of logic in there. That's really cool, I like this window a lot. Um, maybe we can put this one on the downstairs. I think it'll fit. I think it will fit. Here, let me, um, let me go downstairs really quick. I'm just gonna slap the window right there for now. I think this might be a good spot for it. And right, let's just open up a big spot right here. So I put it right there. There we go. So we're gonna turn the noise off on these things. All right, so now the noise is off. So now when we step in front of it, just like that, we have an automatic window. Is this painted? Oh uh, yeah, we want this to be a little bit more clear. So we're just gonna, there we go, that's a little bit better. All right, now we got a window out looking over there and we can definitely use this window. We can use all these windows more than once in different areas. Um, and now I can actually, whoop, nope, stop opening. I want that block deleted. I had to use that as my weld point, so we can put this back now that it's welded to the floor. We now have another window added to our amazing base. All right, this is actually starting. I think we did uh, we did pretty good with some progress in this episode. I think I'm gonna end it here. Let me know uh, what you got, what else you guys want to see for this base. We've added two game rooms today. We've added some window decorations. And we've looked at a lot more of your guys' decorations, some really, really cool ones. If uh, this is your first time watching the Suspended Base episode, I highly recommend you watch it from the beginning. We've had some crazy, crazy adventures. Oh, no. It happened again, people. I don't know when it happened, but it happened again. Oh, why? Why does this happen?
Why does this happen? The bridge disconnected at some point during this episode. All right, we're gonna have to, uh, here, I'm gonna load my previous save. When, that was a while ago, but, you know, we didn't do too much adjustments, I don't think. Uh, we might not have lost too much time. It's really disappointing. Why does Scrap Mechanic do this to me? All right, let's see. What does the previous backup have? Please have the bridge still attached. Otherwise, this entire episode was just lost as far as progress goes, all this time put in. All right. All right, so the last thing I hadn't put in this game, I hadn't put either game room in yet. I saved before I put that game room in. So let's see, is the bridge still attached? The bridge is still attached. All right, the bridge is still attached. So all I have to do is put the game rooms back in and I forget, and the windows back in, and I forget what other adjustments I made to like the game rooms and stuff. I, I know I made, oh, I had to fix this door. All right, so I guess I'll just do that right now really quick. I think that was everything. I think we just redid everything the way that it was supposed to happen. Okay, let's check on the bridge. All right, this bridge is still intact now. We haven't lost that bridge. And that bridge is still intact. And that bridge is still intact. Now it is time to back up the world once again. Okay, now we have officially succeeded in making progress on the base. We fixed, we fixed our issue and we've backed up from this point on, so. Reminder, if you want to make submissions to the Steampunk base, do it in the Steampunk Submissions channel or the Steampunk Creations channel in my Discord. You can join the Discord with the link down in the description below. Become a scrapper there, and I look forward to seeing you there. And thank all of you so much for all of the amazing submissions so far. This has been really fantastic. Oh, here's the change I also forgot. Uh, right there. We wanted this to open inwards. Um, all of these submissions have been really, really fantastic. Some of them have been absolutely, like, mind-blowing, like, stuff I wouldn't even have thought to even try like those stairs that just intersected in each other like that that was uh something i would have never even thought to try um so that was really cool to see and this game room is really awesome it's so compact i really like all the changes and the updates that you made to the game room we have this other game room over here um all of these are really really good i actually i really like this recording studio and i, I can't wait to to put it in a more suitable location the bar, and of course, the one thing that I try to build for this is just doesn't even work. We have the drop pod, and it's just, uh, this is just not, uh, I never plan ahead for, uh, for scrap mechanic, uh, physics to work the way that they work. But, it's been a great series so far. I can't wait to see what we're gonna have in the next episode. I look forward to seeing it. This has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.